A few months ago, I released a lesson on memorizing the fretboard, which taught two things. One, how the musical alphabet works and how it relates to guitar. And two, a simple and straightforward way to learn the bottom two strings on guitar so that you can, you know, play chords and scales in any key. And since then, I've had a few students ask, well, how do I memorize the entire fretboard? So that's what I'd like to address today. And in order to do this, I'm going to offer you a few strategies. You need to utilize all of these concurrently. That's what's going to make the difference. You know, you'll see lessons out there saying that there's some secret to learning the fretboard. The real secret is doing the work. You know, you have to put some time into it. So I have three things that you can do that are going to help you learn the fretboard. And the good news is it's just a little bit every day. And if you do it the right way, which is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now, it will pay off. Now, real quick, before we get started, I have a free ebook that I'll put a link for down below. It has tons of useful stuff, you know, chords, strumming patterns, progressions, even a little bit of music theory. Uh, it's free for all my subscribers. So grab your copy if you haven't done so already. Also, while you're down there, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You could even say hi in the comments. You know, every little bit of interaction with my videos helps me with like the YouTube algorithm and it helps me deliver lessons like this for free to you here on YouTube. The first strategy I like to call three note riffs. We take three notes in a row from the musical alphabet and we try it on each string. So we could go A, B, C. We find a, B, C on the thickest string. And as we play it, we say A, B, C. A, B, C. It's really important to play and say it out loud because when you say it out loud, you memorize it faster. It makes you process the information in multiple ways, which is proven to improve learning efficiency. So we go A, B, C on the thickest string, A, B, C, and then we do it on the next string, A, B, C and the next string and A B C A B C A B C and if you're wondering how I'm finding these notes on the fretboard check out the previous lesson we outlined that entire thing how to go up each string and find any notes and when you're doing this you have all the time in the world you know I know I'm just busting through it just to demonstrate it for you but I want you to really take your time you know pick those notes A B C or D E F you know those are three notes in a row D E F and you just poke around and you're like okay where's D E F are going to be right above it right D then E and then F and if you watch the previous video you'll know why you'll know how so check that out whole point is you find your little three note sequence going on each string all the way up and then you find it going back down and it's going to take a while you might just do it once on your first day of practice and it might take you like 15 minutes to find it all but the more and more you do it the more you're going to figure it out you know so you go all the way up and down saying and playing the notes and while it's totally fine just like picking the notes off the top of your head i like to sort of randomize things so these are actually my flashcards that i made when i was starting guitar so 20 years ago i made these flashcards you know so this one has b there's e you know there's just the notes on it you just shuffle these and then you pick one so let's see c i i know the alphabet so after the letter c comes d and then e so i'm gonna play c d e and that's gonna be my sequence and then i just find c d e on every string of the guitar you know so i poke around okay here's c d e and then i go to the next string where's c oh there it is you know and i just find it on each string of the guitar and that is an awesome way to get started learning the fretboard. Now, the second strategy builds on that. And instead of playing three notes in a row with no sharps or flats, we're going to start incorporating the sharps or flats and we're going to randomize the notes. So in this case, I have my flashcards. I'm just gonna pick three random flashcards. So I shuffled them and then I'm just gonna lay them out. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. That's kind of some crazy stuff there. Let's do it. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. I go on the thickest string. Okay, where's F sharp? It's right there. Then A sharp and then C sharp. You know, and that's something that, yeah, I've been learning the fretboard for 20 years, but you're going to spend a while 
trying to find all three of those notes and the act of finding them instead of just looking at some answer key. Because when you look at an answer key, it's just right over your head. But if you say, I got to find F sharp using the rules that I laid out in the previous video about memorizing the fretboard, that doing that work is what's actually going to make you memorize this stuff, right? So F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and then I find those three notes on the next string. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And notice I don't have to keep going up you know, and run out of frets or whatever. I have F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And you do that on every string going all the way up to the thinnest string and then coming back down. And it is definitely gonna be a workout for your brain. But you know, this is how you develop that ability. It takes hard work and I guarantee it's gonna pay off. Now, my third and final strategy, and this is something that I learned from one of my teachers in university, and I see a lot of people using it because it is a very effective method. I think it works best at the end of your practice session, sort of like a test, you know, to test yourself and see where you're at. We're going to pick a single note and you can use your flashcards here and you can just draw a single uh, F sharp. It's the same one I picked last time. B, you know, so we're just picking a single note off of there or you can pick a note off the top of your head and we're going to play that note on each string. And you might think just one note, that's way easier than finding three notes. But since we're only finding one note, we're gonna add an element of pressure to it. We're gonna do this with a metronome. I'm gonna set my metronome to 60 beats per minute, and I'm gonna give myself four clicks to find the note on each string. So there's a time limit now. So my note that I picked randomly is B. I gotta hide one, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. Two, three, four. B, two, three, four. Two, three, four. B, two, three, four. So I have four clicks to find each note and you can adjust it as you get better and better. You know, try it with four clicks for a while. Once you can find any note, four clicks, do three clicks. You know, so let's just pick another one. D sharp. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, you know, eventually the, the goal is to get down to one click per note. So, you know, let's just shuffle these guys again. C, 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 C. And you go back down. And once you can do that, 60 beats per minute, you're golden. You know all the notes. And like I said before, you got to do all three of these exercises. It's not like you move on from one to the next. You know, every single practice session, you do the first one, then the second exercise, then this third exercise. Spend maybe five minutes on each one, and that way you get like 15 minutes total of fretboard work. You'll be building up your fretboard knowledge every time you sit down to practice guitar and you will know the fretboard in no time. I guarantee it. If you're interested in learning a bit more about how music works and other stuff like that, I have a course, Music Theory 101. I'll put a link to it in the corner. And while it does teach a little bit about the fretboard and how guitar works, it's more or less about how music works. You know, the first half of the course all takes place on guitar. Hands-on, applied, practical theory, things you're actually gonna wanna do on guitar, like knowing how to analyze a song, how to write music, you know, that kind of stuff. And then the second half of the course, takes place on paper, you know, and it's all about the academic music theory stuff that you would learn in music school, you know, like the stuff I learned in music school, but in a simpler, more straightforward way. There's a link for that down below. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know where you're at with your fretboard knowledge. You could leave a comment, you know, or you could just say hi. Either way, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.